Welcome or welcome back to Solo Marvel Champion. Alright, it's been a while since I've done any play videos because one day I recorded six in a row and then five of them were lost because of a corrupted video card. So I've been kind of dejected, didn't want to do any plays on video for a while, but Next Evolution has really sparked my excitement for the game again. And this is my first playthrough coming back. Today I'm going to do Taskmaster. It is my favorite out of the um, Rise of Red Skull box. Uh, I mentioned that in my last video. And uh, one of my goals for 2023 is to play all of the heroes, or I should say to finish all of the heroes I haven't played. So today is the hero of the day. It is Spectrum. I've been playing her a lot lately in Protection. I really like what Spectrum can do, especially since I've never played an aerial character. Before I get into playing her though, let's cut away and see who won the drawing for my first Mutant Genesis promo giveaway. Alright, the intro and what's going to follow this was recorded on Tuesday so that I can get that edited down and plenty of time to release this on Thursday. I'm recording this segment at a little after 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday. Then I'll just have to insert this into that already finished video. I did have lots of subscriptions uh, over the past week. Thank you very much for that. It's appreciated. I've entered all of those names into my Arkham Horror Chaos bag. I like this bag because uh, it sits flat. It's a fun bag. I can put that in the comments for anyone who wants to get one. I did get that on Amazon. So everyone's name in here. And they are in here. I'm trying not to look at the bag. They are in here by handle. I did that because the handle is unique. And that prevents someone from changing their name to the winner's name and saying, Hey, I'm your winner. This is what I want. All right. Let's grab one. We've got two. Let's grab one. And the winner is Bill Levine, 3429. Bill Levine, 3429. Um, let me know in the comments what you want out of this set. You can choose right now any of the heroes from the last wave. It's going to be their promo card and their alt art promo card. Or all of the villains from Mutant Genesis in their promo cards. Let me know which one you want. Everything is still wide open. Going, for, going uh, forward, you know, whatever Bill Levine 3429 takes won't be in this pool anymore. So further videos, I'm just going to keep adding names to this bag. And every video for a while, I'm going to draw a name out and they can win one of what's left. So congratulations, Bill Levine, 3429. Let me know in the comments what you want. And let's go on to today's video. All right, congratulations, lucky winner. Let me know what you want out of the available pool of promo cards. And I will get that out to you. All right, so we're doing Spectrum against Taskmaster. It's a really fun matchup. And one of the things I said I like to do with Taskmaster is not to play him against Justice. So this is actually a protection deck. Let's shuffle this up real good. Let's shuffle the encounter deck. I do have Hydra Patrol out. When defeated, I'm going to have to go get a Hydra Minion. I no, almost always go grab a Hydra Regular. Um, he is going to put one more on the main, but shouldn't be too difficult to take care of. All right, let's look at my mulligan or my hand. Okay. I do have some cards I want to keep here. Nowhere, you'll see later. I can't even play. I'm going to discard. I'm definitely going to mulligan that one. Or am I? Do I use Nowhere to pay for build support to then go get Nowhere? That actually might be what I do. 
I don't have, you know what, I'm in no hurry to get that in. So we'll do that. I might still use build support and just clear it when I can. Energy duplication is a must. That ever vigilant is great, but I have to clear this first. So I think I'm gonna keep these and draw one. Another genius helps a lot, actually. So then I might just go without this build support for a while. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna flip up, I hate to waste all the activation, but we're gonna flip up to Photon and remove one. Then I'm gonna do one, two, three for Blue Marvel. When he comes in, switch to that and deal one damage. I'm going to go ahead and thwart this one off. When he comes in, I will find Hydra regular. Hydra regular has insight, so he adds one there. And we're going to go ahead and do Ever Vigilant, remove two from the main, and ready me. Now, I can attack for three. And Blue Marvel can defeat that regular. Also something I want to note, uh, I like to be able to see all of these upgrades at once. I know you're supposed to keep them face down, but I like to be able to see them and I note which one I'm on with my fate die, uh, just so I can always see what I've got. I'm going to hold on to energy duplication. That's ready. Before I go on to the encounter phase, something I nearly always forget about Taskmaster is that when you flip up, you take indirect damage. So I will take one indirect damage from that. All right, now I'm gonna draw. What doesn't kill me is great, because I'm gonna get a free ready. I can do these two for that. That plus that. I hate wasting Ironheart. We'll see what happens. One goes on the main. He's gonna attack me for two, and I'm just gonna take it. Two, three, four. Get one encounter card. This guy is nothing. I say he's nothing because we can attack for three and get rid of him. Oh man, how do I want to do this? I definitely want to get energy duplication on the board. So we're going to use Polaris. This is a bit of a building phase, so I'm going to use Polaris and and my Gamma Blast to play Energy Duplication. And then we're gonna do one and one to heal two. One and red, I should say, because this, uh, this generates a physical resource. Heal two and ready me, and I can attack for three more. It's ready. Before I ready, do I want him to attack again? I think I'm going to attack again. I like to get him down really low before I flip. I get him down to one, even if he has to sit there a turn, before I go to the next phase. One, two, three, four, five. A Gamma Blast come up, coming up now is awesome, because now I may go ahead and finish him with him. One goes on the main. He's going to attack for two plus a boost again, and I'm going to take it. Two, three. One thing about Spectrum I've learned is that I'm fine going down to Alter Ego just to reset and get unstuck if I'm in a form I don't want to be in. So I'm fine taking that damage. Let's get one encounter card. Well, this is the one that sucks. Discard five, if an attack event is discarded, he attacks again. One, two, three, four, five. I did not get one, so 
That's good, but I did lose some good cards there. All right, let's... I do want to get it ready to rumble down there. That comes in handy. And I'm going to attack for three. He's going to attack for one. gonna push him and he comes back with 16 health and I get an encounter card I don't like an encounter card when I go down but that can't be avoided now I'm gonna do one two three for gamma blast which is gonna deal seven Gamma Blast is gone. I'm going to go ahead and flip down. With that ready to recover, or ready to rumble, I can recover. And then flip up and ready. One, two, three, four, five, six. Starhawk is huge, and so is Ever Vigilant. This could be a knockout turn. One goes on. He schemes for two. And I'm not in hero form. Otherwise, place one threat on the main. So two, three, basically. I do have two encounter cards. One of these will almost assuredly be in a, uh, either an advance or the Hydra Soldier, which has guard. Regular is in sight one. Advance may in this. That's two, three. That's up to four. Main's on ten. Now I need a knockout blast. I'm going to do six, seven, eight, nine. I've got my knockout because he's not a guard. Let's let's go ahead and do some healing just because I'm going to get that free ready anyway. Let's go up to hero. Two things happen. Three things happen. Number one, I take two indirect. Oh, you know what? I shuffled my Nemesis set in here. That's unfortunate. Although, uh, it's not going to matter. That would have sucked, though, if I'd drawn, drawn my Nemesis. Another thing that happens, I go to this form, and that deals one damage to him. Then I use Ready to Rumble to Ready. So now, I can attack for three. I'm going to play Ever Vigilant, which readies me and removes two threat. I'm going to attack for three. And I'm going to play Starhawk, who attacks for two. And that's Taskmaster with protection instead of justice. It's a fun game. It's really a shame that I shuffled my Nemesis set in. I wonder what that would have been otherwise. It still would have been two. But uh, there it is. Quick and fast. I really love Spectrum. She hits hard. She hits often. And this deck, uh, I have linked it in the, uh, in the description for you. I'll put it on screen as well. This deck is all about readying Spectrum for those extra three-point attacks. I did make one error in the um, in the description. I talk about, and in the deck list, I talk about Avengers Mansion, uh, but I actually switched that out for Nowhere. I had done all of my testing with Nowhere, and then I didn't like it because I could only get it in with build support. So I said, well, I'll put in Avengers Mansion instead. But build support cannot get Avengers Mansion. Build support can only get a cost three or less support. So note that if you're going to look at that deck like that and uh, uh, make a comment if you will. I'm actually really proud of this deck. It's a lot of fun. All right, here's one down. Let's uh, keep it up with subscriptions. Every new subscription, every new comment, those people are going to go into that bag. 
uh, to just, uh, you know, increase um, someone else's chance to win a promo. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope you have a great day.